Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we have the pleasure to be technically reviewing the new Spectrum CMM from Zeiss and I have the pleasure to also be joined by one of the most technical engineers that I have the pleasure to know. Welcome David Shute. What an introduction, good to see you again <laughs> Gio. Brilliant to be back out again and thank you very much for joining us in the MTD studio. No now Zeiss have launched yet another new innovative product, the new Spectrum CMM bridge mm -hmm. type. Now why um, have you released this product and can you tell our audience a little bit about it? Um, as you know, Zeiss are synonymous with CMM technology and they've got CMMs that, that cater for different budgets, different types of application, so on and so forth. What we've got here with the Spectrum system is a, a system that comes with all of the, the bells and whistles that you, you would expect from a, a piece of Zeiss equipment, but we, we, to you coin this phrase, the a perfect price to performance ratio, giving uh, potential customers who perhaps didn't have the budget historically for a Zeiss piece of equipment, the opportunity to, to buy into the Zeiss brand and, and gain all of the relevant attributes that come from that. So it can open up new marketplaces for Zeiss? Definitely, without a doubt. Now, I've been looking and doing a bit of research on this mm -hmm. product, um, and scanning is a big feature of the spectrum. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the scanning technology? Well, Zeiss are synony synonymous with scanning. Um, the first system they ever produced and launched, the first CMM system that is, was launched in 1972 and that was a full scanning system. So they've always come from that direction. Coupled to that, they've been in tactile measurement for over a hundred years. So um, it's, it, it's just a natural progression. Uh, the, the system uses our XXT measuring probe head. It's a passive measuring probe head. So it has the ability to assess the quality of data before it's then used and transposed into the actual calculation itself. Um, and as you know, uh, there are lots of other companies out there that, that, that offer scanning as well. But as you know, scanning gives you a more repeatable, more robust result. You've got the data, you've got a large amount of data, you're acquiring it extremely efficiently and it enables the customer base to have, have the confidence in the measurements that are coming from, from their measuring system. I mean, it looks a lot faster to me as well than, than tactile probing, is that correct? It is correct, definitely. Um, if you're only taking four points, you can see the surface here or this ball here, then you could probably get around the circumference equally as quickly, but you only know information about these particular areas as opposed to everything in the middle. So I assume that it's gonna give you better productivity and accuracy. Yes, it is. With the scanning technology, it enables you to acquire a lot of data very quickly. And with the type of algorithms and the rigidity and the quality of system we have, you will get a, a better accuracy as well. Can you tell me about the MPE and the RON-T values and, and what they mean? All CMMs come with an MPE value. It, it's, it's a requirement when you're specking a particular machine. Uh, and there is also another MPE value that we pay special attention to at Zeiss, which is the MPE RON-T value. Because CMMs, all CMMs out there, not only do they measure a linear length, but they're also required in a lot of cases to measure form, yes? And the MPE RON-T value assesses how capable the system is at measuring roundness. And is this something that's quite unique to Zeiss? Um, in a machine of this class, it's extremely new, unique, to, new, unique to Zeiss, um, especially having both an MPE and an MPE RON-T value of less than two microns for a machine in this class. So we've got the accuracy, we've got the scanning capability, plus tactile capability, we've got a great footprint. Mm -hmm. What about the flexibility? The Spectrum comes with an immense amount of flexibility. Uh, to, to mention one of the key USPs here, you can see it articulating. This is the RDS C5 articulating system. Um, this has the capability of positioning itself to 5,184 separate positions. Wow. And under normal circumstances with traditional technology, you would have to calibrate each one of those individual positions in order to quantify whereabouts your probe tip was. With the, the, the CAA uh, technology that's contained within this system, what you have to do and all you have to do is when you run your main calibration is calibrate 12 positions which takes approximately 12 minutes and then all of the 5184 positions contained within to do with because of the CAA calculations and assessments we've made in the first instance before the, whilst the machine's being built they're all then uh, at the disposal of the customer 
to, to use as and when required. So if a customer brings a part to the table and that particular part has 10 angle positions, they can just run this routine, measure that part. The next part comes through, it could have 10 completely different angle positions. No need to recalibrate in the new positions. The system already knows where everything is. I mean, this sounds fascinating. Is this an evolution for this type of product from Zeiss? The CAA correction within this articulating system has been around with Zeiss now for about five or six years, but it was only ever available in the systems in further up the range. We've now recognised that it's a key USP and it's a requirement when improving productivity for the potential customer base. So we've now given customers the opportunity to get access to that state-of-the-art technology in a machine of this type. So really, it really does save time again from this having this... Um... A massive amount of time, an absolutely massive amount of time. So you go from 12 minutes, well, you can go from however long it takes to calibrate individual tips with other systems, down to 12 minutes for calibrating 5,184 positions. Just do the math, it's going to save time. Unbelievable. It? it could could reduce backlog within a, an engineering facility. Without, and a doubt. Bit, without, without, without a doubt. Now, doubt. not only does it have all of this technology, but it also has glass ceramic scales. Yeah. Um, and we're going to move on now to the construction of the product. How important is this? <clears throat> Picking up on the glass ceramic scale point that you just made, um, Glass ceramic scales are, are unique for a CMM in this class. It's, they're, they're, it's not available in, in any of the CMM in the marketplace. Uh, the glass ceramic scales have virtually zero coefficient of expansion, so there's no need for thermal correction sensors, sensors to, be, to be built into the system. And we also have a patented, which I won't go into too much detail on, but we also have a patented way of fixing these glass ceramic scales to to this, type of, uh, to this type of system. Again, only recognised and used within the Zeiss technology arena. So staying on the theme of the construction um, and the ergonomics mm -hmm. of the Spectrum CMM, you know, how important is this? Is this something that is overlooked when purchasing a CMM? There's a lot of thought gone into this new system. Um, Designers at Zeiss, and I'm sure all over, have come to the conclusion that real estate in these manufacturing facilities is at a premium. CMMs, and wrongly, are seen as non-producers of wealth. Um, so they, they get allocated the, the minimal amount of space on a shop floor when compared to the metal cutter machines that produce pounds, shillings and pence. Um, in light of that, as you can see here, we've got the backpack type controller, so it's all integral of the, of the system itself. One of the key USPs for the backpack controller are that it's, it's got plenty of air to circulate around the outside of it, so the, the controller stays at a constant temperature. There are systems that, that have a slightly different technique whereby the controllers are put underneath the table. Um, this can lead to overheating in some cases and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's the reason why we put it in the position that it did. We have uh, a special bearing configuration within the top tier of the system, which adds rigidity and also with rigidity on a CMM, it enables you to acquire these extremely tight RON T values and the extremely repeatable length measurement values that we've uh, that we've spoken about earlier on in the. Uh, in this discussion, and as well as we, we've, we've uh, developed a, a super stiff base, a tripod base for the system. That's the foundation of everything that, that, that for everything that sits on top of it. And the, with this super stiff base, it complements the overall rigidity of the system, enabling us to acquire these these extremely tight MPE and MPE RON T values. Brilliant design, David. Absolutely brilliant design. I can remember from my engineering days when I was uh, figuring out, you know, best practice from a design perspective. Mm, mm, mm. I was always taught if you, you kind of imagined a four legged chair, right. it can rock. But with a tripod design, it will find itself. So a great design, something quite unique that I've not seen before. Now, the construction of it is, is, is obviously second to none. Um, what about the software, smart services? You know, in, in, a, in a world of digitalization that we're all in, you know, how, where does Zeiss play, play its part in this? The system comes with the Calypso metrology software. Um, it's available in a number of different guises, depending on what the, the customer's requirements are. Um, it also comes with the Zeiss reporting package, um, which enables the customer to evaluate 
small trends of, of, of not just the part that measured, but parts that, that come after that and do some basic SPC analysis at the same time. Um, it also comes uh, with, with uh, automation capability. If the customer feels that there's some form of automation is required, either robot loading or pallet system loading, the system has the ability, if the customer wants to purchase that option, for, for that to be integrated as well. Automated inspection is, is a subject in itself and, mm. and one that's so important in a modern day workshop. And, mm. and, and you alluded to the fact of, you know, you know, you shouldn't be treating machining and inspecting as two separate processes. Mm -hmm. You should be looking at it as one to get the best productivity mm -hmm. um, that you can possibly mm -hmm. get. Now, there's one last point that I just want to touch on, and that is smart services. Okay. Yeah, to, to improve productivity, you need to optimise your uptime. And what Zeiss have done in answering one of the many Industry 4.0 questions is give the customer the ability to do that via our smart services platform that enables the, the um, creation and the implementation of remote health checks and so on and so forth, condition monitoring for their system, workloading for their system, but to name a few. But if you want more information on the smart services as, as an option, please contact Zeiss because there are experts there that know and be, will be able to give you all of the relevant details because it's just too big and too, too much of an impressive product to talk about on this today. No, David, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been one of the most technical corners that I've had the pleasure to be part of. And with you, I didn't expect anything less. Thank, thank you. you very much, David. Cheers. Thank you.